Um, yeah, New Al I won't read all this out. UN Resolution 3172, that's from 1976. Um, each party state in this, to this convention undertakes not to engage in military or any other hostile use in environmental modification techniques. Environmental modification techniques. So they already had to develop a treaty for it. Why? Nobody's doing it. And this, folks. I'm moving away from chemtrails a bit now. I think it's all interrelated. 2003, Alabama, even on the BBC website. Oh, it's not right, nothing to worry about. It's a hole punch cloud, everyone. It's a hole punch cloud. Don't worry about it. Okay, so what's punched the hole? Oh, they don't need to worry about that. It's a hole punch cloud. It's just perfectly, you know, nothing to worry about. There's another one. 2004, I think this was taken out. JFK Airport. What's this? Christmas Eve, I think, 2000 and, yeah, night before Christmas Eve, 2004. <coughs> Two chemtrails in this strange oval shape. You're telling me this is natural? You're telling me this is from cloud seeding? I don't think so. Got this sort of strange area here too. I haven't got any details for this picture, but what, what the heck is that? Formation. What you see in there is an energy effect, I think. An energy effect. Keep going, I'll just scroll through these, I won't read them all out. You can find loads of these as well. There's a whole page called um, Strange Skies. An L shaped cloud, anybody? On and on. What the hell is that? Just a, just a one-off. Just a one-off. <coughs> Nothing to worry about, folks. Go back to sleep. It's all your fault. You know, you're burning all that carbon dioxide and generating all that carbon dioxide. That's, this is the result. I don't think so. Oh, yes, and the wonderful Cloud Appreciation Society, which has got some press, I think, in the last 12 months. Here's a nice semicircular cloud. Perfectly natural, everyone. Just sit there and appreciate it. Isn't it lovely? And this was taken off far from here, I think, somewhere up here. Let's see, it's in the Daily Mail. I forget where this was taken on. I think this was taken somewhere in Scotland. It's from the, this was in the Daily Mail. They have, to, they have to think of a new name for these clouds now. Asperitus clouds. I don't even know what asperitus means. That good old Cloud Appreciation Society at the forefront of explaining what the hell is going on. I've got an audio clip to this, but we're running short on time, so I'm going to skip to the... Uh, but this is a good one. This, there's a, I say, I've got this on a DVD, the audio clip and everything. This uh, was pointed out by Scott Stevens, who's an Idaho weatherman. Uh, he left his weather, you know, he was on the TV, doing the TV weather, started to see chemtrails and all these anomalies. And one that he points out in this picture, you may have already spotted it, there are several. I haven't got time to play the audio because it's three or four minutes long. Square cloud, anyone? Square cloud. Nothing to worry about, though. Nothing to worry about. Perfectly natural. Radial rainfall patterns on radar. Or it's just an instrument anomaly. Not instrument anomaly, no. Nothing to worry about. It's from 1999, this. Nothing to worry about. Just a one-off. Nothing to worry about. Excuse me, but who's doing this? I'm worried. I'm worried that we're not being told the truth about almost everything. We live in an illusion. Somebody's got the power to do this, or say forces to drive petrol and diesel cars and trash our own planet. Which I think is why we've been forced down that route. Those are not natural folks. Somebody is doing that with technology. Technology. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to show you this one. This, I found this actually. This wasn't from a chemtrail site or anything. Um, I'll just play a little bit of this clip. I hope my computer won't crash again. But 
The system of security camera, it's a company called Robitex that makes these security cameras that have just the video clip is still is still there. So basically what you saw there, the caption says it, but I'll go on to the next slide. There were chemtrails, came over, there were no trails, then about seven or eight chemtrails, and then a thunderstorm started. And the chemtrails went over the place where the thunderstorm started. Could be just a coincidence, I can't prove that it wasn't, but that's mighty strange if you ask me. Mighty strange. All these little isolated showers you're having in the summer where it's like, Rains for 10 seconds, really, really hard, and then it's brilliant sunshine the next. I remember noticing that in about 1988, and I was thinking, this is really strange. I just had this little feeling that something weird was going on, and that was 1988. Um, I'm going to have to, I don't want to uh, miss out the end bit. I'll just mention this, though, because there is a history behind this technology, I think. And this is partly to do with the work of Wilhelm Reich and all going energy. Um, now, he was found in his cell, hanged, right, the day before he was due to be released from prison. He was a scientist, he was a contemporary of uh, Sigmund Freud, he wrote to Einstein, he was investigating what he called orgone energy, which seems to be linked to um, human sexuality, a lot might sound a strange connection to make, and he developed these orgone accumulators, which he used to treat people, uh, and they, were, they would ended up with being called a medical treatment, and he was essentially had up for some you know, practice in medicine without a license or something something like that. Um, and you can you can you can actually make these cloud busters now. And he made cloud busters and it was able to affect the weather. Uh, and this I'll just this is what they look like. Um, and basically a cloud buster is a set of copper pipes which you put into deep water with some tubing. And if you make these in the right way, you can actually affect the weather with them. This has essentially been demonstrated several times. Um, but I'm not going to have time to go into because it's so short on time, so it's a two hour presentation, really. This. Uh, but one quick thing I will show you a few quick things. Yeah, the, the experiments were reproduced by Charles R. R. Kelly in the 1960s. He points his cloud buster at the sky, and you can see that the um, cloud disappears. I think somebody's developed this into a, a, a very advanced technology. Even mentioned by Kate Bush. In her song, Cloud Busting, from 1985. I've got a quick clip of that, but I'll, I'll, um, I'm going to again pass on because I want to get to the most important bit. Uh, and Wilhelm Reich's son wrote uh, a book called The Book of Dreams, uh, and that was uh, published, I think, in about 1973, was it? 74. Um, out of print now, of course, um, but that was sort of about his father, I think. He, he sort of wrote a, bit, a lot of it as semi-fiction sort of thing, I think to cover up some of what went on. Um, but that's where the book that Kate Bush read, and that's why she wrote the song Kind of Thing. It's all about Wilhelm Reich. Um, quick mention of Harp. Blame for a lot of things and ills of the world. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's guilty of. It's a real facility. Uh, it's owned by the Department of Defense and the University of Alaska. They don't fully disclose what they're doing with it. They disclose certain things. I'm not happy about it. Um, whether it's affecting all our minds over here, I don't know. There are meant to be as many as 10 of these facilities worldwide. Whether they're controlling the weather or not, I don't really know. I'd have to see more data. Not a, that's not a brilliant thing to be fiddling around with the ionosphere, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I've got a video clip about that. I gave a short time, so I want to go on to the main one. Nick Begic, um, yeah, he talks a lot about heart that supports the bombing of Afghanistan, would you believe? If you've heard of Nick Begic, I've got a clip on my website, and he says, the bombing of Afghanistan was absolutely justified. Absolutely justified. He doesn't use those words. He said we should have stomped them back into the Stone Age because they didn't give those guys up. 
That's what I think they, they said in 2006. Just thought I'd let you know that.